My name is Dr. Jennifer Gans, and I will be guiding you through a practice of falling into sleep. So let's begin by making yourself comfortable. Perhaps you're lying in your bed. Perhaps you're sitting in a chair, but finding a place where you can feel most at rest and ready to fall into sleep. And for those with bothersome tinnitus, falling to sleep can be very challenging. And so let's just start off by congratulating yourself for coming to this practice and experiencing radical self-care as you really support yourself falling asleep. So lying in a comfortable position and starting off by just checking in with your body as a whole. Perhaps you can go head to toe or toe to head, just checking in with however your body feels in this moment. You might even be surprised to find tension in a place where you weren't even aware it was. Perhaps you notice your fingers are clenched or even your jaw. Perhaps you notice your shoulders are a little higher up than they need to be. Just taking this time to notice what is. And so let's begin by riding some waves. Starting off with the wave of air that brings you this breath. Maybe noticing where you feel the breath the most. Maybe it's as you bring in air through your nose, as the air hits the back of your throat, or even enters your belly and you begin the expansion and contraction rise and fall of your belly with each inhalation and exhalation. Bringing curiosity, openness, acceptance, and compassion to every rise and fall, to every taking in and letting go, each moment with each breath. Riding the waves of this breath. Not needing anything to be different than it is, just simply being with each breath. After a while, it can even begin to feel as if you're on a raft, just going up and down, up and down, with each inhalation and exhalation. Again, with curiosity, as if you've never taken a breath before. Riding the wave of this breath. And if you're like most people, the breath can sometimes feel like it's not always so easy to hold on to. The mind will wander. 
challenge here is to notice when the mind has left the breath. Maybe the mind goes off to a judgment thought, a comparison thought, thinking that things should be different than they are, maybe that you should be asleep. Just notice wherever the mind takes you. Note where the mind goes. But then gently let go and place your curiosity, your attention right back on this very breath. Each time with compassion, noting where the mind goes, letting go, and then coming right back to this breath. And if the mind should leave the breath a hundred times in the next few moments or minutes, that's a hundred opportunities to be compassionate with yourself as you ride this wave of breath. Moment by moment by moment. And breath by breath by breath. And just noting, should the mind leave the breath, noting where the mind goes, letting go and coming right back to this wave of breath. And for many people with bothersome tinnitus, sound can keep us from our focus from the breath. If that should be the case, then Let's try something a little bit challenging. Let's take that same curiosity, openness, acceptance, and compassion that we bring to each and every breath. Let's see if we can place that same non-judgmental awareness on the benign body sensation of tinnitus. Riding the wave of tinnitus. Bringing curiosity, openness, acceptance, and compassion to each wave of tinnitus in just the same way that we brought to the breath, placing that same kindliness, that same non-judgmental awareness to riding waves of tinnitus. And perhaps you notice that the mind wanders again or you feel an emotion come up. As we did with the breath, just note where the mind has gone. Let it go and come back and ride the waves of tinnitus. Moment by moment by moment. A gentle allowing of what is in your field of awareness at this moment, not needing it to be any different. Just radical awareness of what is. And for many, this can feel very challenging. And you can always come back to your anchor, to your tuning fork, to your home, to your breath. Whether riding waves of tinnitus or riding waves of the breath, radical awareness of what is. A 
commitment to not needing anything to be different, just a gentle, even hovering awareness of what is. Riding the waves of this moment, of this breath. Letting go of stories about how things are supposed to be in this moment, how things were or how things will be, and simply resting gently in just this moment and allowing it to be enough. Breath by breath by breath and moment by moment by moment. Allowing this moment to be enough. And so we're going to end this breathing exercise for falling into sleep with a poem by Rumi called The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. We're welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows that violently sweep your house empty of all of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He or she may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful to whomever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Falling into sleep.